Are you getting my camera situated here? Hopefully. Okay. Here is my thermometer. I am using an infrared thermometer. You can see right there, hopefully. 26, 28, 27, 25 degrees on November 21st. So here is my first qualifying ride. Put the thermometer over the side there. One thing, I am wearing one of those balaclavas, or as some people say balaclavas, I have heard. I use it as a neck warmer. And mittens, that is the way to go. I don't really think in this kind of weather there really is any need whatsoever for heated gear if you dress properly. So, let's get this ride underway. The reason why I'm, I actually rushed out this morning to get this ride started because for the next week it's going to be in the lower and middle 50s here in the Chicagoland area. So, I think maybe by starting this Polar Bear Vlogger Challenge, we jinxed the weather. But that's actually a good thing anyway. Being able to ride all the way through November. Typically in the past, in the Chicagoland area, you uh, pretty much were done for the season when it was November 15th. It was just too brutally cold after that. Hoping my helmet doesn't fog up too much. I'm not even sure if I have my vent open or not. And uh, I actually have a subject to talk about that just came to mind the other day when I was watching videos. And I watched a video by my buddy Mike Lark Zero. And I remembered when he came out from Detroit to the Chicagoland area to do a meetup with me. And if you scroll back, you'll, I think it was called Memorial Day Meetup or something like that. If you haven't seen it and you'd like to scroll back and see it. Um, that was actually during that meetup when we were playing around with our cameras and uh, filming each other and laughing about it and having a good time. That was actually a point. I'd been vlogging for quite a while, but that was actually the point where I really realized I really was a vlogger. Like, as in, not that I was just somebody that made the videos, but I was actually uh, part of the whole group dynamic thing. So, in case any of you are looking for subjects to vlog about, that would be a good topic. When when was the point, or have you even reached that point? You know, your answers might be different. Maybe you don't even, you haven't even reached that point right now. There's another cold weather rider. When was the point when you really realized, hey, I'm really part of the motorcycle vlogging community? And I'd have to say that was the time when I did the meetup with Lark Zero when I really realized that, that hey, I'm really a part of this community. Brand new gas station gonna be opening uh, pretty soon here. Hopefully I'll make it through this light. Barely. And I was also thinking, this was a, a question that was asked if you get a chance, I'll put it in the comments to the left, there's a, a motorcycle vlogger that doesn't have a huge amount of subscriptions, but he's pretty cool. He hasn't made a vlog in quite a while, I don't know if that's because of the cold weather or whatever, but his channel name is Sass Scout, and he's from Canada, and a long time ago, about four months ago, in one of his vlogs, he asked, a question too that I meant to do a video about and as usual darn it, um, it takes me forever to get around to getting these things done sometimes when other stuff comes up but he asked where do you get your ideas from or how do you come up with your ideas well for me basically I get inspired probably 
for my vlogging ideas. I get more inspired just by watching a variety of other vloggers, really, and it's not necessarily even direct ideas they come up with. Sometimes it just it gets me started thinking in a, a certain way, and then it kind of leads off like little branches of a tree. So it always kind of works that way with my ideas. Like for example, uh, some of you people watch my TDD report, and maybe I I don't know if I've mentioned it before or not. I probably have, but a lot of it that gives me my ideas is the fact that people keep sending in stuff through email. I've got like about three or four regular contributors that are constantly sending me ideas and articles and things like that, but I don't necessarily use the exact article or the idea they sent. Wow, it feels like the vent's open here, but I guess it's not. It is kind of cold. <laughs> There's ice all over the place. Well, anyway, I'm lambling again. They send me articles in, and then I'll go and look at them, but a lot of times I don't choose to use the article. I'll usually, I'll read the article and then I'll check out side links and uh, maybe it'll give me a different idea, but it just seems to go off in a tangent and maybe what I end up with isn't even what the original article even was about. And uh, so a lot of times when people send me stuff, I, I hope they don't feel like, you know, oh, because I'm not using exactly what they send me that somehow it's not helpful because many, many times when people have sent me stuff for the TDD report to give me ideas, it's kind of just started to train a thought going and then I go with that and then I go off another direction, another direction, and before you know it, I reach a page or something come, pops into my head and then it's like, aha, you know, this is a really good idea. So I guess you could say for me, to get the best ideas, I need that little spark of something or somebody getting my train of thought rolling and then once it gets going, it kind of takes its own various turns and tracks and stuff like that. Well, it's not brutal because one thing about it right now, as far as the temperature, I mean, it is cold. It's definitely very cold, but we don't have that normal huge amount of wind. Part of it's because it's early in the morning too, though. Early in the morning when it's uh, the sun's rising and the sun's setting in this area, the wind tends to calm down. If we had about a 30 to 40 mile per hour wind right now, it would be very, very brutal. So anyway, I'm thinking by now I've blabbed enough to make this easily a, a three minute riding video to qualify for my first video. Oh, and a little, uh, I'll probably mention it a few other times too, but if you are, uh, if you're competing in the video, the only thing you're really required to do really, if you're if you're not interested in doing the total accumulated miles, don't worry about the odometer reading. Like I didn't give my odometer reading. Well, obviously I'm not competing anyway. I'm just doing my three qualifying rides. I'm not competing for anything. But if, uh, if you don't want to compete in the mileage category, don't worry about the odometer readings then. Just give us a temperature and then just do your three minute ride. That's all you really need to do. I mean, obviously, you need to if you are competing in the mileage category, but uh, don't worry about it. Just show us the temperature on a thermometer and do your three-minute ride. And uh, A lot of people may just uh, do it to the extent that they just want to do their three qualifying rides, too, just to say you're a member of the Polar Bear Club or... I don't know. Do it in any way. Do it in any way, shape, or form you want to do. Just have fun with it. I enter competitions in another video sharing site I belong to pretty much every time, and I hardly ever care about even qualifying. It's like that's not important. It's just having the fun of doing it. So I don't even do it with the intention of winning prizes or anything like that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a quick turnaround here. So anyway, I think that's pretty much it. I'll call it quits here. Catch you guys later.